Hello everyone, it's Christopher Allen, and I'm delighted and excited to be making videos with Cricut again. It's where it all began, so it just makes sense that I am creating with what I believe is the card maker's essential cutting machine. Now, you may be asking yourself, card maker's essential cutting machine? Well, I have a manual die cutting machine, uh, which would be, a, would be a machine, excuse me, that has a crank on it. Now, this machine's a little bit different because this machine, you actually don't need any dies to die cut. You just need a little bit of knowledge of the pro program that you can get for free from Cricut and we're going to do a quick little tutorial of that but today we are going to be making a coaster a create your own ending coaster why not with a free design that I have available for you linked down below so now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Cricut design space I'm going to show you how to actually get this file set up to go then I'm going to walk you through the whole entire process and I think we're going to have a lot of fun stay tuned because I will have additional videos coming using this incredible machine now let's go ahead and head on over to the computer and get started all right everyone we are now over here in design space and what we're going to first click is the upload button once we click the upload button you're going to click upload image then browse then you're going to go to the folder in which you saved the cyoe coaster file now you'll see here that it's going to pull up the image we're going to check the image name it does say cyoe coaster which is great so then you're going to click upload then you're going to select from your recent uploads and click insert now you can see that it is coming in at the correct size, which is 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches, which is the circumference of the coaster that we are going to use. Now, you will see that I did click attach there, which is something that we're gonna do shortly, but I did that to show you that you don't wanna click that first because you will lose your color. So I'm just clicking back, and now you can see the different colors that we have here on our screen. Now. The number one thing you want to go and do first is since we are using the markers you're going to click on each layer i just clicked on the your own and i'm going to switch it to a drawing or a writing layer then i'm going to go to marker i personally love to change it to the color that it is actually going to be this one happens to be the uh, cricut joy infusible ink markers uh, that i'm that i'm selecting now the first one that i selected was party pink the next one is going to be bright teal. And then finally, I am going to choose wild aster. You don't have to choose the exact colors. It just makes it much easier, I think, for when you're changing out the markers to be able to actually grab the marker in which you selected. Now for that last piece, for the basic cut, you don't have to worry about that uh, being changed out because that is not going to be affected. You do want that to cut. Now we're gonna choose on matte done and now look what happened oh no everything is in all different places there's a second mat it's just it's a mess so now is when you're going to go in and select all and hit attach super simple now when you click you are going to select on mat and you will see that it is going to perfectly place that on your mat and you are going to be able to just start cutting it out and drawing i click browse all materials and i always choose the laser copy paper it just works really well for me and then you're going to go ahead and get started all right so we're now down at the table and as you can see here i'm going to load the very first marker into the cricket joy the very first marker that it's asking for is the wild aster marker so all i'm going to do is just place that in open up the clamp first place that in and then close down the clamp insert my mat and it will just start drawn away now this drew pretty quick it was actually really really nice uh, it does all of one color first and then it will prompt you on the screen to change over to the other color makes it very simple and kind of foolproof next up it did ask me to uh, insert excuse me the bright teal marker so I'm doing that here and it is going to actually write out the create and ending portion of our uh, design here and then last but certainly not least, it is going to ask for the party pink marker. And again, super simple. You just go ahead and place that in the clamp. You let the joy do all of the work. It kind of draws everything out. And then last but certainly not least, it is going to ask for you to put the blade in. Now, for my design, I did uh, incorporate a cut line to it. So it is cutting the circle out around. This just makes it super, super simple for you to line it up with your coaster because it is the exact same size as the coaster that you uh, th that you're using the uh, the coaster that can be provided by Cricut the infusible ink 
round coaster. All right, and I take a look at it. Looks pretty good. So now we can move on to our next step. So now I've laid down my Easy Press mat, and I'm grabbing my design, and I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm going to peel off the design. Super simple. Uh, I pulled it towards myself because I could actually uh, kind of turn the mat down uh, so it makes it super easy for me to uh, pull that full piece off. Now, uh, because the design was shaped the exact size as that circle, I did just place that right on top of the coaster. Then I just took a piece, an extra piece of copy paper. Now, Cricut does suggest that you use a piece of butcher paper. I unfortunately didn't have any butcher paper. So I just used another piece of copy paper and it seemed to work just fine. So now we're just kind of fast forwarding through the process. Uh, the temperature setting that is recommended from Cricut with the Easy Press 2 is 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 240 seconds. And on the Easy Press, it's very simple to set that. Two different buttons, one for time, one for temperature, and then a plus and a minus. Really, really super simple. Uh, you just plus and minus to get the right temperature and the right time. Now we're down to one second, so we can peel off, uh, excuse me, pull off our Easy Press. And you'll see there that there is kind of some discoloration on the paper. That's normal. It was really hot. It was 400 degrees. Now, when you peel this off, you are going to want to grab it real quick. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, don't do that. It is hot, and it stays hot for a while. So I waited about 10 minutes, and then I could peel it off. And here you can see a really, really cool Creatron ending coaster. Super simple, super easy. I really hope that you make one yourself, uh, and you will uh, post it in the uh, group to show me what yours looks like. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.